Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world's the world away. We now got part 31 of Hashet Partworks Build the Spitfire Mark 1A. <laughs> I love issues like this. Not a lot to do, but uh, very impactful what we have got to do. Uh, before I show you the uh, magazine, let me just show you the one piece that we've got in this. Look at that. How cool is that? Now this is black plastic. Um, this is a decal over the top of it, and I do believe we do have to uh, just cut down these grooves later on just to make sure that these hatches open, uh, because this has obviously been put over the top already for us, uh, but hasn't been uh, trimmed down. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be mounting this uh, to the wing that we created last time, which is looking like this, if you remember. Looking really good. So let's just show you uh, the magazine that we've got here. Uh, and I'll tell you what we've got coming in the next issue. Uh, radiators and radiator housing for the underside of the right wing, as you can see there. But this is the magazine. I very rarely go through the magazine. Look, this is a stand that the uh, Spitfire is going to be going on. And all we're going to be doing is mounting the wing to this frame. And then, as I said, just cutting the decal so we can get these hatches off here uh, when we want to, uh, I don't know, look at them, see what they do. I'm not actually sure what the hatches do, to be honest with you. I know someone is going to put it in the comments and let me know what they are. Uh, let me know what's underneath those hatches as well. At the moment, by the look of it, there's nothing under them. But uh, if there's meant to be pipe, circuitry, wires, something like that, perhaps uh, that could be a mod that could be coming. But uh, we will have to see. Um, all about Spitfire. Love the history of this. As a matter of fact, this is the only magazine that I do save uh, for my brother-in-law, who's probably watching this. So hello, Peter. Um, because he loves this sort of thing and the history of uh, the, uh, the Spitfire and stuff as well. But uh, there you go. That's the magazine. Not a lot to do, but tonight we are going to be live streaming. I've been umming and ahhing what we're going to live stream, and I think we are going to do an Ecto-1 tonight. So we'll do issue 48 of the Ecto-1 tonight. That'll be from the workshop at 8 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. Now in the next couple of days, hopefully, I might be able to bring you the Super Snake and Pack 2 of the Shelby Cobra. So that'll be coming soon as well. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. So basically, I've got the wing this way round, and obviously it's the black side that we're going to be working on, because this wing's going to be black, and it's just going to go over the top of the wheel we've put in like that. That's going to help you line it up. And I can turn it over, and I'm holding that in place from underneath, because I need to actually put some screws in here to uh, bolt this down. Bolt it down to screw it down. Uh, the screws do come in this, looking like that, and these are 2 times 3 PB screws. So I've got them here, and there's 5 of these screws to put in. As a matter of fact, it did let me put the... Uh, the wing down because obviously it just lifts up the other side here so we've got five to put in so we put one at this side over here that's number one in again you don't want to go over tight with these just put them in enough to hold it into place so that's one the second one's just on the inside here so again that's number two number three is over here what I'm doing is I'm holding the screwdriver very light in my hand and then when I feel resistance, I stop screwing. That's number three. Over here is number four, as you can see. Once again, put it in my hand. Once I feel resistance, that's enough. And then last but not least, we've got the one just at the end there. Put that in. Just like that, once again, got resistance, that's that. And as you can see, that wing is now held in absolutely perfectly. Now the only th other thing we need to do now is just cut the decal so we can actually hin have this flap hinged and this flap comes out completely. So I've got my scalpel here, very sharp, but I'm just making sure I take my time when I go over this decal, that's one side done. There is a channel in this Make sure your scalpel is really sharp as well. Just like that. Do the front, and then I'm guessing that's just going to be able to open like that. There we go. And that's the first hatch. Able to open just like that. Actually, if I just turn that around a bit better, so you can see that. There we go. Looks just like that. Okay, we're going to do the next one here, which is this long hatch here. Now, this one comes out completely, so... Again, I'm just putting my scalpel quite lightly over this decal. It's not going to take a lot to cut it. And the other side here. In that groove there. And in the groove at the top. Gonna lift that up just like that. So that that can come out. 
And there you go, that's what that looks like. See, I don't know what's meant to go underneath these sections here. As you can see here, there is nothing underneath here and it doesn't look like there's space for things to go under there. But if there should be electrics or something, I don't know, under there, then let me know. Perhaps we can uh, put something in there. There's not much space, as you can see from the back here, uh, but we, we pretty much the design will tell you which way it goes back in. Um, but all we have to do is put it in sort of an angle like that and then press it down and that put the part in. Now that part does hold itself in, so when you turn it upside down, it shouldn't fall out, no problems at all. So that looks pretty impactful, doesn't it? That's what it looks like there. As a matter of fact, let's just show you on my head camera here, because that gives you an idea of size as well. Absolutely brilliant, isn't it? It's really coming together now. I can't wait to start putting the cockpit and the uh, propeller section that we did in here. And uh, just so you can see again, that is what the decal looks like. So that's it. That's all there is to do today. Now, we do have a live stream, as I said, later on tonight. Uh, tomorrow will be one of the Agora models. Not sure what one yet. I'm going to surprise you with that tomorrow morning. That will probably be out about lunchtime, perhaps just after. Uh, we've got a Patreon-only live stream tomorrow on Wednesday. Again, not sure what we're doing for that. Uh, there's no live stream Thursday, though, because I'm not here. But there will be a video out in the morning. And the next video, back to normal scheduling on Monday. And uh, we'll probably be finishing the Ecto one there. And hopefully by then we'll have the Ferrari F40. But we'll see when that comes. I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.